Hello everybody, CB Railroader here, and as you can see, the layout is alive. Yep, I got the uh, layout all wired up this weekend, uh, went real well, it's probably the nicest wiring job I've ever done. Um, looks really nice under there, and uh, it worked flawlessly, and uh, got the track all secured, so... Um, Truck plans down as I wanted it and uh, ready to get on to the fun stuff for me anyway. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute uh, this. But um, yeah, so it, it went well. I'm real happy with the way, way things turned out. Before we go too much further, what I did want to address... Um, Someone had asked about the construction of the layout um, and, and how I built it. So basically it's one by four uh, construction for the top and the uh, half inch plywood to four by eight um, panel for the, for the top. And uh, here in the center section, there's two one by fours that they run across and that's what the plywood panels connect to here um, right here uh, in this section in and on each end here about uh, it's about 18 inches in um, that's where uh, there's two one by fours that run across and the um, the two by four legs go up into pockets and I'm going to uh, put up a photo um, right here now so you can see what, what I'm talking about on that. And dr tops just drops right down onto it. And then of course there's one by four stretchers going across and that's what the the shelf sits on and and then another one on the bottom and that's what the wheels are attached to so um yeah that's basically it so um this is the configuration uh, make sure everybody can see here so just real quickly um This will be along here, a big um, manufacturing uh, customer here. Basically three customers on here. A uh, big manufacturing customer along here. Um, I believe I'm gonna do uh, an ITLA building along here. This right here is gonna be um, uh, another facility. This will be an oil. They actually manufacture um, uh, uh, locomotive oil. Um, there's a place here in town that's been here for years that that's what they do. They manufacture locomotive oil. Um, and it's just down the road here. Uh, and then uh, it, it'll utilize two tracks on this one. This one will actually go into the building. And then this will just be storage of, of tankers and uh, loading and unloading in the trucks as well um and then right here will be a um a uh, grain facility of some type so i will have hoppers tank cars and box cars <coughs> um so yeah this will be some kind of a food bear i'm not not sure exactly what i'm going to do yet but and that's going to utilize uh, a Walther's uh, Centennial milling background kit that I'm going to kit bash. I won't be doing, just so everybody knows, I won't be doing scratch building. Um, that's really not my thing, but I love to um, kit bash and, uh, you know, do things with the, I love Walther's kits and I love, you know, modifying them and what have you. And then here on the end, there will be, um, going to be a street going here and it'll either be a highway on top or a raised area where there'll be some buildings up here on top. 
a couple background buildings that uh, fit up here on the end. And then this goes off into, um, this is where most of the, uh, the uh, cars will come in. And, and at some point I will make a, a, like a cassette little yard about two foot long um, that'll make it a little bit more fun uh, when I start operating and what have you. See, and then right here in this area, um, be kind of a scene break going across here. This will be a, um, a bridge that goes over, uh, over the tracks here. So, and then, um, and then right here, uh, will be a, coming off this street here will be, uh, be kind of look like our, our South main street here with, which is an older brick towns and stuff. And then, <clears throat> I have room right here, um, maybe be like a little trailer court or something like that. So yeah, that's, that's kind of what I got planned. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting busy. I've already started working on a, a building, um, for, a, a down there on top of that, uh, concrete retaining wall and what have you. So, uh, appreciate y'all. Uh, uh following along uh if you know anybody you think would be interested please uh pass along my information um i would appreciate it we'll catch you on the next one